Stranraer FC on YouTube, sponsored by GT Mortgages. Four of Jamie Hamill, Scott Robertson, Ayrton Sonka and Sean Burns. A midfield four of Andy Sterling, Conor McManus, Kieran Miller and Cameron Elliott. And uh, two up front uh, tonight in Thomas Orr and Daryl Duffy, who's the only change. He comes in to replace James Hilton, who is on the bench along with Grant Gallagher, who uh, did a fitness test earlier, and uh, he's on his way back, and hopefully, if needed, could uh, could return tonight. Joe Victoria is back from suspension, along with Rudy Payton, they're both back on the bench. Lewis McIntyre, he's returned as well from injury, so we have more options. Uh, and Tom Devitt, Josh Walker, Alistair Taylor, and goalkeeper Jamie Walker make up the bench. So Edinburgh City in goal is number 21, Ryan Goodfellow. We, we don't know how they'll line up, so the rest of them are just in num numerical order. Number four, Andy Black. Five, Conrad Balatoni. Six, Mark Laird. Eight, Liam Brown. Nine, Blair Henderson. Sixteen, Josh Campbell. Eighteen, Jamie Dishington. Twenty, Sam Newman. Twenty-three, Sam Denham. And twenty-six, Rafael De Vita. On the bench for Edinburgh City is goalkeeper number one, Dean Beveridge. Number three, Robbie McIntyre. Number ten, Danny Handling. Eleven, Danny Jardin. Seventeen, Johnny Jarrett. And number nineteen, Usman C. Oh no, here we are. Oh, this, is, nope. this, this doesn't happen uh -huh. all that often. Here we go, we're changing ends. And this is what we like. I, I've got to say that the, this is the way I like us to play. Yeah, up the approach in the first half and heading towards the tune end in the second half. So hopefully that's a good sign. It's been a wee bit unfortunate, Cammy Elliott, with injuries and just couldn't get into the team, but he's managed to get there now. A wee touch from Elliott from McManus. The first effort on goal, but just dragged wide by. Strong midfielder, but that's encouraging. Yeah, and Balotelli very experienced uh, in, in the back four there for he City. Seems, he seems to have been around for years. That's Sterling getting onto Elliot's ball. It's oh, a great ball. Oh, and a great save by the keeper. Runs it back. McManus will okay, take possession, chips it forward. Newman's got to deal with it. Duffy gets on the Oof. end. And a strike of instinct there, gets there first and just hits it first time. But Kieran Miller intercepts that well and completes the clearance. And yep, Orr's, Orr's got a touch on that. And he's won the tussle well with done, Newman. Tom. Well done, he's beat him. And oh, oh Vicky, the square that Duffy's made a great run and he did see yeah. him, but good defender by Black coming, right. coming over from the other side. Not because the last two home games I've, I've stood here and watched were such complete contrasts. Some bit of mix up there, be. Oh, Hamill. Washington's done well, but Robertson is equal to it. Campbell has got past Hamill again. Can he get it over? He can, it's decent. And a good error by Sonka. One to watch. As Fleming clears long. Elliot wins it again in the air. A good touch by Orr to get round by Tony. And gets it over to Duffy, lets it run to Sterling. One touch and hit. And it's a goal! Oh, lovely goal by Andy Sterling. And what a lovely piece of football that was from Stranraer. 1 0 to the Blues. 20 minutes on the clock here at Steer Park. Fantastic uh, goal by Andy Stalin there. Sean picked his spot actually, didn't he? You know, it was a lovely, it was almost, almost a pass into the net. It was just a <laughs> lovely move, great move down the right. Cammy Elliott, to be fair, gets up and flicks it on to Tam Orr, takes a great touch, goes round the defender and crosses into the injury area. Duffy, the experienced head, just lets it run. Andy Stalin, touch and hit. 1 0. To see on the balance of play, it's yeah, something yeah, that Sunrad uh, deserve. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's certainly a, he's done hard in a better team so far. No score at uh, Barra Briggs. Oh, we've not been updated, no score no at Barra Briggs, so that point for Elgin. Elgin will take them above Sterling as well. Bring in, wee man. Beat, beat, beat your man, that's Sterling it. Beat him, that's it. Oh, him inside yes, it. oh! oh and just out of the reach of Tamor oh. in the middle. Tamor just took a chance. And just take them out of the equation, and our home form's pretty good. Played forward by Black. Fleming might have to come and deal with oh. that. And it's a calamity at the back oh. between Fleming and Robertson. And oh Robertson, dear. Robertson dear heads the ball oh past dear. his own goalkeeper into the back of the net. And Edinburgh City are level. Uh, Robertson on goal. And the two of them are remonstrating <sighs> with each other. It was a, a calamitous piece of defending. Communication breakdown once again. And oh. uh, the, oh. the visitors are level. <laughs> so Denham plays it long. And Sonka this time deals with it. 
That's Settled it. in here now, yeah. guys. Campbell have a go from range. Oh, oh my goodness, he's hit the post. Fleming was beaten. What an, an effort there from Liam Brown. He's very unfortunate. And this time, won by Newman. Right. Sterling a chance and to touch it Duffy. to Duffy. Oh. Line, linesman keeps his flank down. Oh, he goes. Duffy. Must be Duffy. Plays Duffy in the middle. Oh. What a save that <laughs> is by Goodfellow. Nah, did everything right there, but the final shot and Duffy hits the target, but good fellow sprawling across and uh, makes a terrific save. Here comes Embra. Robertson just losing out there to Layer. Slip the Burns. Dishington now tries to take on Burns. Oh, he's cut inside him. It's oh. chance. Oh. This is dangerous, but Miller gets in the way and. And Robertson wins a header. Duffy loses out to Denham, but back to McManus. He's played it forward. That's a good Tom, one by Tom. Great ball go on, Tom. Go on, Tom. Go on, Tom. Or through. Oh, it's a penalty. And he's going down. Surely. And oh, dear. Oh, that, that looked a stone wall penalty. But le leaves it for Fleming, so chance for the goalkeeper to launch this uh, into the danger area. But Balatoni, who's won a lot of headers today, wins another one. Tom. Oh, he's got the wrong side of Alatoni. Yes, well done, Tom. And Tom Orr puts Trenard back in front. He just swivelled round Balatoni there, got the wrong side. And once he'd uh, got a side to goal, Trenard's top scorer with his 11th goal of the season. He uh, makes it 2-1 to the Blues. Well, that's thank, better. Thank God for, thank God for that, Sean. <laughs> Yeah, and timing is everything. A minute before the, a minute before the break. Not that there's a bad time for first and to score. That's a particularly good time. And again, Edinburgh had their wee spell just around the time that they got their goal. But I, I do think that on the balance of play, Sonata deserves oh, to be Oh, absolutely. Right on that. Oh, he just couldn't get it towards Elliot. And the referee brings the first half. To a close, we've got afters there from Hamill and Brown. Just to run at half time, and um, yeah, it's been it's been okay. We've played, well, quite, played quite well, apart, apart from a, apart from a bit of calamity defending, a bit of, co a bit crazy, of comedy antics at yeah. the back. Apart from the crazy, I think it's an own goal, Sean, isn't it? Oh, it's definitely uh, own goal yeah, from Robertson. Yeah. yeah, I mean, apart from that, I mean, it's been comfortable. You know, really has, but uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Faz will be shaking his head. You know, how we know two or three up there. Yeah, I think Fleming's not had a save to make, really, Sean. Good fellow gets there before Duffy. Managed to find Henderson there, Ray. Here comes Campbell again on the far side. Miller doubles up with Hamill and stops him. Oh, Davita was lining that up right from the minute that left Brown's foot. Yeah. And consequence, it's an easy clearance for Elgin, but Elgin Elliott's won it back. Oh, lovely. Delightful touch by McManus there to get away from. Mark Laird, and now Andy Sterling, Sean Burns is busting ahead of him, Sterling cuts inside and goes outside, it's confused me. <laughs> good play with Sterling there. But didn't come mate, didn't call me. Good defending all round by the Blues there, to snuff out the danger. Oh, oh nice touch, turning there by Brown, and he, oh if he can get on the end of that, that would have been nice, but Henderson's flick just out of reach of the young midfielder. Lovely mm, period. And a Stramar error over there, Brian. We really need to cut these out. That's a great run through the middle. Hamill's tracked it though. Oh. Campbell finds Henderson. Dishington trying to work a space. They've done so. Campbell. Oh, oh he oh. tried it wide. And he knows it. <laughs> Look how gutted Josh Campbell is. He should have hit the target there. Great chance for Edinburgh. We touch from Orr back to Burns. And Orr's, Orr's got round Laird. He's done well there. Oh, he's gone backwards, but. Miller finds Sterling on the left. Over it comes, it's decent. Oh, oh. oh and that. Oh. And <laughs> that Tommy Elliott inches away from me. Elliott's inches away from me. Then hit, hit, hits, hits the goalkeeper and hits Mac McIntyre and goes back to the goalkeeper. Tam or. Don't foul on Tam. Make it difficult yeah, for him. Tom. He's done well. Oh, Elliott's Tom. made a good run, but Orr still got it. And he's delayed. But oh. Did come to Sterling and his shot is blocked. And then Brissetti have tidied it up, but that was promising. 
from the Blues. League two table, handling though. That's a good, great delivery. <laughs> good clearance by Hamill at the back post. Yeah, but the boy Hamill was inches away if he'd getting a touch in that. 16, Josh Campbell. Campbell was just underneath it. But so do we. So does Jardin to and Miller, and Miller Duffy. finds Duffy. And I will break down this touch line. Challenged by Black. He's got past him. Can he find anyone in the middle? Oh. Connor Malatoni cuts it out. Throw in though to, to the Blues. On comes Johnny Jarrett. And on comes Jinky Hilton. And Duffy's run his raise, I think, uh, Sean. I think you called that right. These folks, if you if you lost yourself for a few moments, or those of you who know Stranraer will know that internet isn't always great in this part of the world. It just dipped out there, but it's back. Oh, and it's back just in time for you to see Jinky Hilton. He's just come on as a substitute, if, if that was part of the action that you missed. Jinky's just replaced that back, but he's done enough to get Miller a chance to win it back. Chipped forward for Hilton. Let's keep it down there, Jinky. That's it, son. Oh, and oh, oh, and oh, oh and he's must be now. Oh, <laughs> it's hit Malatoni on the deck. There Unbelievable. And Sterling and Orr have both denied. And again, he looks at his watch. Good fellas, long ball. And that's and it now, Sean. It. We're in the playoffs. And that's it. Game over here at Stair Park. Stranraer winning by two goals to one. Did what they had to do. And Stranraer have earned the place in the end of season promotion playoffs, which was the, the objective at the start yep. of the season was to challenge for the playoffs. We've done it. And we can look forward to another couple of games coming up this week. Um, Stranraer will play Clyde Orden Barton. Um, whoever finishes ninth in League One, that uh, two-legged semi-final fixture will start on Saturday. So now we'll be at home in the first leg and away in the second leg next Tuesday night. So please check the internet um, for details. It will become clearer, but it won't become clear until Thursday night because Clyde didn't play their fixture oh, against East Fife until Thursday night. So we might not know until th Thursday evening who we play on Saturday. Brian, job done? Oh, absolutely. You know, he really had a sweating, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, we're there. We're there, Sean, so it's anybody's now, you know, four teams go for it, four, you know, so. So the good news is, what we can say with absolute certainty is we'll be back here at Stair Park on Saturday uh, with a three o'clock kickoff. We just don't know who we'll be playing against just yet. So, folks, tune in and uh, join us then. I'm sure Lawrence Nelson will be back with Brian on Saturday. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage tonight. Apologies for the little hiccups we had in the second half, but we got we got there in the end. And um, from everyone here at Stair Park, thanks so much, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>